coming up on this episode with Kathleen McGivern. Hi there, I'm Kathleen McGivern, and today in this episode, we're going to take a look at and explore what it actually means to be an artist. So the importance of actually being an artist. So it, to be an artist, it really is uh, an understanding and taking a look at the human condition. There are various types of artists and cultures and all these different aspects really influence what it means to be an artist for each individual. So we're going to take a look at and dive in onto this episode and explore what it means to be an artist. Let's get inspired. So number one is creativity and expression. So being an artist is really a deep sense um, is someone who has a deep sense of their own ideas, of their own imagination, um, and really is expressing that through a creative process, right? They're exploring their own identity, um, perhaps their culture, uh, perhaps um, their ideas through creative expression. So artists use various mediums to communicate visually with others these ideas that they come up with. Again, these might be reflections of self, might be reflections of culture or heritage, of society or community. Um, whatever topic that they are investigating, they are exploring these topics in a very deep, introspective way. So art is really important in terms of reflecting uh, society and culture and individual identity. It is so very much important for creativity and expression and it would be very hard to navigate the world without it, especially for somebody who is very artistically inclined, it feels very painful to not have that ability to be able to freely express themselves creativity, um, creatively. It's like somebody um, just denying that natural impulse. It's very, it's very painful. So it's very important that we allow this, especially in society where sometimes it's uh, art is being pushed away. Um, you'll see it happen on even in social media, right? It's not as important um, sometimes as other things, right? Especially when it comes to money. <laughs> that rises to the top. <laughs> um, but it just is, uh, we do really need it. It's very important for um, individuals to express, but also it's documenting and reflecting the human condition. And that for that reason, it's very important. That's what makes that number one. Number two, being an artist means that you need to be dedicated and also be very, um, uh, well you need to understand that there's going to be a lot of development in terms of craftsmanship over decades, over years to really hone in on your craft. It is a never ending exploration. There's no such a thing as getting to a point and like, hey, that's your max. Okay. That's called being dead. <laughs> there is no end point. Like you even see like those NBA stars, like I don't watch sports, but like those guys get up every day, even though they are the master of their trade, they are still waking up every single day earlier than as, as early as possible, putting in the time, doing the hard work to get it done, to get better, to get a little edge on their competition. And that's the same that's true, that idea, that concept is true, that dedication and craftsmanship is true to absolutely anything that you want to do. Whether it's making a YouTube channel, right? Putting in the time and hard work and dedication and craftsmanship into a video and getting better every time. Or if it's your Instagram reels or your TikTok videos, you're trying to get better every time. I'm just making it relatable. Um, but, and, and of course, this is going to come to your own artistic practice. But artistic practice as well. It's very important that you are dedicated to your craft, that you have a set space and time for these things to happen. You have it scheduled in your calendar. You show up, you do the work and get it done. Because if you don't, it ain't going to happen. You're not going to get better. You're not going to actually work through those ideas that you have coming through your head, that you're capturing on your devices, that you're capturing in your sketchbook. You'll never, ever, 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 ever do that hard work and get it done unless you show up and do the work and hone in on your craftsmanship every single time. You're trying to think about ways to make increment, incremental improvements with every single stroke or mark you make or sketchbook design you create or every artwork you make. You're going to do those incremental improvements to get better, to be a master at your craft. And that's very important, no matter what your craft is. 
that is one thing that it means to be an artist. So number one was being creative and expression. Number two is dedication and craftsmanship. So now I have a question for you and I want to hear your answer in the comment section below. What does being an artist mean to you? What does being an artist mean to you, my lovely friend? I want to hear your answer below in the comments. So stick to those answers in the comment section right now. I want to hear it. I will personally reply. I'm so excited to hear your ideas. So please let me know what does being an artist mean to you? Number three is exploration and innovation. So as an artist, thinking about prioritizing um, exploration and innovation. This is done through experimenting and taking risks within your own artistic practice and creative process. Um, I think it's really important that artists push their own boundaries and challenge themselves um, to think of, to well, really discover new ways for their art to exist um, and to push themselves to develop and hone in on their techniques and their skills and their crafts. It's very important to push yourself. Now, for me, I've noticed that I've entered a bigger growth phase, um, pushing myself through a challenge that I'm currently doing. So my current challenge, instead of just exploring a body of work like a theme, I'm now thinking that doing challenges is a much better way to make um, more improvements every single time. Um, and also pushing myself in terms of new subject matter that I wouldn't have typically explored. Um, also new mediums I wouldn't have typically explored and just really expanding my boundaries. I think that's really important. So I'm doing like, um, you'll see artists and versus and adventure videos on my YouTube channel. That's me as part of my art is going out into the world, experiencing a place um, and then creating art that reflects that place. Um, as, so we're using that experience as my inspiration and then adding my own human expression and creativity on top of that, layered with uh, various different mediums I'm trying to explore in uh, ceramics and acrylic paint and oil paint. So I'm trying to understand my subject matter, not only um, through, uh, through experience and then reflecting it as an artwork, but also through various art mediums to really better understand myself and about honing on my techniques and then allow those different mediums to also inform my artistic practice in different ways um, to help me grow as an artist. I think that this setting up your own challenges is really, really great. So if you want some ideas for challenges that you can give to yourself that are more introspective in nature, grab my free guide by scanning the QR code right now or hit the link in the description below and you'll get my free guide that has 30 different challenges and also sketchbook prompts to help you get started and helping you move and grow as an artist right now. So make sure you grab that and it's gonna be super helpful um, and it's a free instant download. So check it out right now and just scan it with your device. Yeah, hit the photograph icon, like take a picture. And take a picture of that QR code, you'll scan it and then you hit the click it and then boom! You'll come to my page where it's a free guy. Woo! Uh, you'll know when you get there, I'll say my name. And you enter, get your guy, download the button. Uh, hit the download button, pardon me. And print it off, keep it as a digital copy, whatever you want to do. Give you lots of different ideas and you can, they're super flexible um, and they're introspective so they're, you can apply them in different ways and make it your own. Not very specific, they're going to give you structure and boundaries without being limiting. And so there's like the perfect combination, the perfect essence. All right, so for number four is finally connection and impact. It is very important that our art, that we design our art to uh, speak to or communicate to our audience, um, our viewers, and create that, um, allow them to create a connection, with, a connection with it so that way it can evoke emotions within our viewers. It is our job as an artist to have to, to stop somebody from walking past it, right? So in a gallery, we, there's a, typically, if it's a group show, there's lots of art. If it's a big gallery, there's a ton of art. So it is, if it's a fair, there's even more art, right? Or a museum. So it is a goal of an artist to have some, we're trying to stop people from walking past our art. So thinking about how you're going to do that, right? You want to evoke a reaction or an emotion within somebody and it's your job to figure out how you're gonna communicate that idea and evoke that response within somebody. So you want to you want to freeze them in their tracks and have them spend some time with your art. You wanna think about how they're gonna enter your artwork, where in your art are they going to enter, and what emotion do you want to um, 
to evoke within that person? And how are you going to achieve that goal? Um, or what message are you trying to communicate? Maybe you're not trying to uh, invoke an emotion, more as, whereas you're maybe you're trying to communicate an idea with them or share a message uh, with them. And maybe it's something to do with um, in the environmental impacts of whatever, whatever, or um, global warming, whatever it is um, that you want to speak to, that could be what um, you got to think that, keep that top of mind and think about how you're going to achieve that goal, where you want them to enter, how you're going to create your composition so that this effect is um, indeed felt by your audience. Um, so really think about how you're going to create that connection with your audience through your artwork and through your medium. So whatever it is, you gotta think about how you're going to achieve it. If it's an installation artwork, how are you going to, how is the person gonna enter that experience um, and then interact with it in a way that's going to, that they're going to understand that, that meaning, that message, that emotion, whatever it is that you're trying to convey. So really, whatever the medium is, whatever type of art it is, um, whatever you're putting out there, you gotta think about the strategy that you're gonna to use to make that connection, to make that impact on your viewer. All right, so that's it for this episode. Your next video that you're going to watch is how to capture your ideas anywhere. So make sure you hit the card above or the link in the description below the video, and I will see you in that episode. Remember, I'm doing uh, cupcakes for subscribe. So subscribe for a cupcake, subscribe for a cupcake, and I will make some cupcake artwork. So my next milestone is 1,000 subscribers, and I will make an acrylic painting of a command a man eating cupcake, an actual legit artwork <laughs> of a man eating cupcake for 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe right now. Right now, subscribe and help me get there and I will make you a man eating cupcake. Um, and share this share this channel out and really help keep that momentum going. We gotta get 1,000 subscribers right now. At 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do an oil painting of a cupcake out of this world. And at 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a giant, some sort of large, scale ceramic sculpture of a cupcake. I don't know the theme yet. You will help me figure that out at 100,000 subscribers. Um, that's gonna be my, that's my ultimate goal. So help me get there. Let's do it. I know you and me can do this together, right? All right, and don't forget to answer my question in the comment section below. How to capture, no, <laughs> what does, wait, what is it? I don't even know. Oh yeah, what does it mean to you to, what does being an artist mean to you? What does being an artist mean to you? I want to hear it and I will see you in the next episode.